Hello guys, welcome back, I'm glad you're here and in this video we're gonna make wall slide and a wall jump. And before we begin, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any updates. Alright, let's begin, here is my project and at the moment we have character who can jump and double jump, but he sticks to the wall. The fix that we're gonna create, 2D, physics material 2D, I'm gonna name it sleepy material, select it and change friction to 0. Now select player and just drag material to the material of rigid body 2D. This is exactly what we need, not sticky. And next we're gonna make wall slide and to do wall slide we actually need to detect a wall first. So we're gonna go to collision info, create new transform and it's gonna be named wall check. And don't forget to make it serialized field so we can see it in the inspector, just like that. And then serialized field, private float for wall check distance. Wall check distance, yo. And we need boolean to know if wall is detected. So private bool is wall detected. Now we need a couple of more booleans. First we need to know if player can wall slide. So private bool can wall slide. And one more is wall sliding. Now let's go all the way down to collision check function. Let's type is wall detected equals to physics 2D. And this time we're gonna use raycast. So let's just choose raycast. And right here, if you pay attention, Visual Studio actually tells you what you need to print here. So you can see you need original point, then you need direction. So we type direction, vector 2.right. And after comma, you can see that now you need distance. So we set wall check distance. Next, you can see you need layer mask and that is simple. We need what is ground. Let's make sure it's visible in the editor. So we're gonna type gizmos draw line from wall check position to new vector 3. Then we're gonna type wall check position dot x plus wall check distance. For the y we just need wall check position dot y. And for the z we just need wall check position dot z. Now I just want to make sure that wall is detected so I'm gonna do debug if is wall detected. Here in Unity we need to create empty object and I'm gonna name it wall check. Then we select our player and just drag wall check to the wall check field right here. And now if we change this value, we can see how we're gonna detect the wall. I want to change size of the collider a little bit because I wanna make sure that wall check is outside of the collider bounds. So let's make it slimmer and drag wall check somewhere here. And now we can make it short. Just gonna set it to 0.2, I guess. Uh, yeah, and what is most important here, make sure when you flip your character, you still detect in the wall. So what I'm doing here is I'm flipping and I can see that wall check is detecting the wall. Now we need to define in what cases player can do wall slide. First, he should be not on the ground and second, he should be descending. So this is what we're gonna type if not is grounded and rb.velocity.y less than zero, then can wall slide equals true. Then we're going to fix the update and here we're going to say if is wall detected and can wall slide then we set is wall sliding to true. Now we have that we need to define what happens when player is not wall sliding and this is just gonna be our movement. Now let's go to our animation controller and here we need to set another bool anim set bool is wall sliding and we're gonna set it to you guessed it right is wall sliding. Cool. Now let's go back to Unity and we're gonna create new clip and name for this clip will be player wall slide. Now we're gonna go to player folder. Here we have wall slide animation and just drag all the sprites to the clip. And let's not forget to change sample rate. Now in the animator we're just gonna make transition from any state to wall slide and we need condition for that. It's gonna be boolean and remember the name was is wall sliding. Let's move it up here and condition should be is wall sliding true and make sure transition duration is zero. As well we need to be sure player is not grounded. So is grounded false. Let's make another transition back to idle and it's just gonna be is wall sliding false. And remember always make sure you uncheck exit time and transition duration is zero. And I think I forgot to uncheck can transit to self. Yeah. And something wrong here. Uh, he's transferring to jump animation. So let's go back to animator and to transfer to jump fall we need to be sure is wall sliding false. And indeed he is wall sliding but he doing it endlessly. We're gonna fix that soon. First I wanna explain why this is happening. I'm just gonna go to debug mode over here. 
you can see that is well detected, can wall slide is always true. We actually never canceling it. So to stop wall sliding, we just need to stop detecting the wall. And to do that, we just can turn our face away from the wall. So we need to flip the character. And we're gonna do this in the flip controller. So if player is grounded and he's detecting the wall, then we're gonna check the input of the player. It's gonna be easy. If facing right and moving input is to the left, which is less than zero, then we're gonna do flip. And else if not facing right and moving input is to the right side, which is bigger than zero, then we're gonna do flip again. Great. Now we actually need to stop the wall slide. So let's go back to code. In the fixed update, we have this if statement that says if wall detected and can wall slide, then is wall sliding true. In any other case, wall slide should be false. So we're gonna do this, is wall sliding false. Now after wall slide, I can walk away from the wall and it works fine. And I like that a lot. Cool. Now the wall slide is actually too fast. So let's go back to code. And if we do in wall slide, we want to reduce y velocity. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna set rb.velocity to new vector 2. And it's gonna be same x. And then rb.velocity.y multiplied by 0.1. Which means we'll have only 10% of current velocity. We're going to improve wall slide later on in the next video. For now, I just want to clean up code a little bit. Let's create private boolean can move and set it true by default. And then I'm gonna go to fixed update cut out this one with the control X and then type move. It's going to be method that is not generated. So I'm going to generate it with the alt enter. Now I'm going to go down to move method and type if can move and just paste in the line I cut it out. Okay, now that's done. We're going to make another private void and it's going to be check input because we're going to expand our code a little bit. So I want to have everything organized at the beginning. So I'm going to move some lines from the update. Let's type here check input click right button, go to definition and inside we're gonna paste what we cut it out. Now let's move this line moving input down here and I wanna make it work only if player can move. So we're gonna type if can move, then moving input. We're gonna use that later to restrict movement of the player in case he's trapped or damaged by enemy or anything else that can happen to him. Now let's cut out this one and paste it in in the fixed update. Now it's all working the same, but we have good foundation for next videos. Now something else to do here, if you like in this video and you want them to come out more, give me a like, comment and subscribe to the channel, so it will help my channel grow, so I'll post more videos. Thanks for watching, and there is something else I wanna tell you, but I'll do it in the next video.